Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Samsung Galaxy Book 3 Ultra. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one starts at 2,200 bucks. Now that's for the i7. If you want the i9, that one starts at 2,800 bucks. All right, so let's go through the specs real quick. Now this one comes in one color, graphite. For the display, you got a 16 inch 3K dynamic AMOLED panel with a resolution of 2880 by 1800. Now you got a 16 by 10 aspect ratio with a 120 hertz refresh rate. For the processor, you got the 13th generation Intel Core i7, that's the 13700H, clocked in at 2.4 gigahertz with turbo boost up to 5.0 gigahertz. Now you can also get the big boy, the 13th gen Intel Core i9, that's the 13900H, clocked in at 2.6 gigahertz with turbo boots up to 5.4 gigahertz. Now for the graphics card, you got the NVIDIA GeForce RTX, the 4050 in the i7 or the 4070 in the i9. Now you got either 16 or 32 gigs of RAM, 512 or one terabyte of storage, and you do have expandable memory up to two terabytes. Now for the battery, it's rated at 76 watt hours and it does have fast charge. Now you got quad stereo speakers tuned by AKG. You have a webcam that shoots 1080p video. You got Bluetooth 5.1, Wi-Fi 6E. For the ports, you got HDMI, USB-A, USB Type-C, micro SD card. You got a headphone jack that doubles as a mic. And you also have a fingerprint sensor. Now the laptop weighs around four pounds. All right, so all of that for starting at 2,200 bucks. Let's see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. White shoes. White shoes. Calm down. All right, Shoes, I need you to scoot, scoot. Okay, so <laughs> here's the presentation. Samsung Galaxy Book 3 Ultra. Nice, clean, white box. Y'all know I like that. Giggity. Let's go ahead and open this up. Now, inside, this is going to be your Galaxy Book 3 Ultra. Like I said, comes in one color, graphite. Okay, throw that to the side. You do have your USB Type-C, the USB Type-C charging cable. Let's go ahead and pop this open. This is gonna be your usual books and shit. Plug them and follow them. And shout out to Samsung, the charger in the box, where it belongs. Okay, now this is a big boy charger. Like I said, 76 watt hours, you're gonna get fast charge. All right, so let's move this out of the way. I choose, my bad. And let's take it to the actual Galaxy Book 3. Now, I've been using this for a couple of days, and let me say this. This is a certified beast. Now, this is the i7, okay, 2200 bucks. Let's look around real quick. On one side, this is going to be your micro SD card slot. You got a full-size USB-A. This is your 3.5 uh, input for your headphone jack and your mic. Okay, on the other side... You got a full-size HDMI. I love that. And you got two Thunderbolt USB Type-Cs. Okay, here's the back, nice and clean. On the bottom, there's your vent for your fans. You can see your speaker grills, all right, quad speakers, two on each side, tuned by AKG. All right, so let's start the usual testing. Let's see. First thing we gotta do, let's do the one-hand open test. Can you open this up with one hand? Bang, look at that. No liftage, okay, no liftage off the table. Easy one hand opening. I love that. Now, since we're doing it, let's do the boot up speed. Okay, you see it just turned on. Look how fast that boot up was. Now, if you look around the actual keyboard, notice one thing right here. <laughs> Here's the difference between last year's version of the Galaxy Books. Look how big this trackpad is. Now, I got big hands. This is a giant size trackpad, and I love it. Beautiful 16-inch display. Okay, 3K. Dynamic AMOLED. Let's see. Fingerprint sensor on the top. Bong, just like that. Okay. Now, if you look, here's a closer look at the keyboard. You got your escape settings. You got your brightness. You know, your second screen, volume up and down. Keyboard settings. Your turbo boost settings. Everything right on deck. But there's your fingerprint sensor. Okay, built-in fingerprint sensor. <laughs> I heard a sound. Shoes is going to town on my cable. Let me go ahead and hide this real quick. Okay. 
full size keyboard. Now let me show you the brightness of this keyboard. All right, so I just turned off all of the lights and I got the display set to minimum brightness and the keyboard set to minimum brightness. So if you're working in a dark environment, this is what it's gonna look like. Now let's increase the keyboard. Okay, that's 60%. Now let's go to 100, 100%. Now look how bright these keys are. So even in total darkness, you'll be able to see everything. Now let's take a look at the display. Okay, so let's get some more brightness. Here's maximum brightness. So here's how it's gonna look when you're doing your work at night. Beautiful. And this screen is so vibrant, I love it. All right, so now let's check out this big, juicy trackpad, super responsive. Okay, let's click on uh, the internet. Bong, just like that. Open up another page, let's open up our uh, files. Bong, there it is. You see how smooth and responsive it is? But just the sheer size, I love it. Now, I'm not a big trackpad guy. Let me show you what I got. Anytime I buy a laptop, there's two products that I get immediately. Number one, I get a mouse. Okay, this is a Logitech mouse. I think I paid about 35 bucks on this one. Let's get and check it out real quick. Right. Activate beast mode on this. <laughs> Comes with some batteries. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up. Okay, little mouse. And the second product that I always get is a USB hub. Now this is my favorite one, this is the dot case. This one's gonna run you about 55 bucks, but this one is pretty unique because it has an actual display. So watch when I plug this in. Bang, just like that. If you notice, you got a display and it shows you the speed of all of your ports. So let me set up my mouse so we can flow through the rest of this OS. All right, so now that I got my mouse set up, now we're gonna go through some of the basic features. Now, real quick, I don't have to go through all of the keyboard shortcuts. I think everybody knows those by now, but there's one that I wanna highlight, your performance. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on this. You got three different modes. This is for your fan. So you got quiet mode. It's gonna reduce your performance, but it's gonna keep the fan nice and quiet. You got optimize, so you get the best balance of performance with the uh, fan speeds. And you got high performance. So make sure if you're gonna be gaming or editing videos, leave it on high performance. Now, is the fan noisy? Not too bad. And when I do the gaming, I'll let you hear the fan for yourself. All right, so let's check some of the basic stuff. Let's take it over to the Samsung suite. Okay, so now you can log into your Samsung account. If you happen to have a Galaxy phone, you could get instant hotspot. So that means you're gonna use your phone's internet connection for the laptop. That's pretty dope. And it's gonna activate uh, automatically. You do got Samsung Notes. Now this is not a touchscreen laptop, so when you're using Samsung Notes, you're gonna have to take them regular. You got our Quick Search. You got a whole bunch of different live wallpapers. You got Samsung Pass. Okay, store all your passwords. You got your Samsung Gallery. Okay, all your pictures. Samsung Studio, you can edit videos. I'm gonna use my own editing software to show you the speeds, but this is a beast, all right? This is Samsung's most powerful laptop. You got Samsung Smart Things. I right, control your uh, smart home features, such as your TV and you know your lights and your cameras and all of that. Let's click on more. You got a screen recorder, okay? You got your Samsung settings, we'll go through those in a minute. You got Bixby, Samsung Flow, we're gonna talk about that in a minute. And of course you got device care. So let's breeze through the official Samsung settings and let's see what we got. Now I'm not gonna go through all of them, but we'll just uh, run through them real quick. So of course you got your connections. You see I got my Galaxy Buds already connected. Connected device. Now, this is pretty dope. I'm gonna show you multi-control. All right, this is a dope feature. I'll show you, show, you, show it to you in a minute. Okay, so you got Dolby Atmos. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Okay, you got all your notifications. Okay, we'll go through those. Display settings. Okay, HDR plus. Now you can have normal or bright. Let's go ahead and activate bright mode, why not? Okay, you got a little bit brighter. Okay, you got your focus mode. Okay, accessibility, all of those settings, security and privacy. Now you can block your camera and your mic. Okay, let's go to advanced features. You got studio mode, auto booting. You got your quick settings. Okay, let's go to battery and performance. Now, when we talk about battery, remember battery is subjective. Now the way I use my laptop, max brightness, okay? Max volume, max keyboard brightness, performance mode on all of the time. And when I use this laptop, I used it heavy the other day for about four hours. 
okay? Four and a half to maybe five hours with a little uh, tweaking of the settings. But if you gotta use this all day, it can easily last a full day. You're just gonna have to turn the performance down and play with some of the settings. Okay, so let's see, you got your keyboard brightness. Okay, I'm gonna let mine turn off. Again, see, this is why my battery <laughs> dries out fast. I like to leave my keyboard for about five minutes. All right, so that's the uh, Samsung settings. So let's check some of the basic stuff. Let's check the uh, web browsing speeds. Okay, so let's uh, go to Amazon. Bong, okay, confirm that real quick. Okay, here's your Amazon. Let's click on some products. Let's see what was I recently viewed. Okay, I didn't sign in good. <laughs> so nobody got to see what I was viewing. All right, so if you want to shop for some pocketbooks for your girl, you know, fellas. I see a lot of dudes rocking purses nowadays. So, fellas, you might need a new purse. <laughs> okay, check for your purses. It is what it is. All right, so here's your web browsing speeds. Beautiful, nice and fast. And this display is just so epic. Let's open up something else. Let's go to uh, what's safe to open up. <laughs> Okay, we open up Samsung. Let's go to, oh, matter of fact, let's go to computing. Okay, so let's hit the Galaxy Book 3 Pro. Okay, so here's the difference between the Galaxy Book 3 Pro. Matter of fact, let's go to, um, let's go to compare specs. Okay, so this is what I meant to say. Now, if you get the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra, shout out to Samsung with all of the pop-ups. All right, Samsung, don't, don't play with the pop-ups. I respect that, though. Okay, Galaxy Book 3 Ultra. Now, there is one thing about this laptop that I don't like, is there's no touchscreen. So that means you can't use the S Pen. But if you want that feature, you're gonna have to go with the Galaxy Book 3 Pro, i360, or the regular Galaxy Book 3 360. Now, the, three, uh, the Book 3 Pro 360 starts at 1,700 bucks. And the regular book three, uh, 360, 1300 bucks. Okay, so there's all of the specs. But again, we're just testing out the web browsing speeds. As you can see, going back and forth to Amazon. Look at that smooth scrolling. Flawless. Exit out of that. Bang, just like that. All right, so now let's talk about some of my favorite features and the features that I use the most. First of all, we got to talk about Samsung Flow. What does that mean? Connect your phone to your Galaxy Book sync your notifications, effortless handoff, and cache your screen. Now, if you look closely, you see my mouse moving around? Watch this. Now, if I move over to the side, now it's moving around on my phone. How sick is this? Now, I've got my phone like this on the table, okay? Move it back over, you see? Mouse on the screen. Now, say I wanna open up Instagram on my phone while I'm doing some work on my computer. Slide it over, look at that. Go to Instagram. Click on that. Now I can breeze through my Instagram. I'm just using my mouse. Breeze through my Instagram and then go right back to my work. So let's go back to the internet. Okay, so say I'm happy to be, uh, let's see, let's read some stories. Okay, uh, reading some news. Oh, let's check out Instagram. Move right over just like that. Watch some cute cat videos. I can even like this picture. Bong, just like that. Oh, okay, let me show and come back over. <laughs> Samsung Flow. I love the Samsung ecosystem. All right, so here's another feature that I like to use, Samsung's Quick Share. It's basically the same as Apple's version of AirDrop. So when I pull up my phone, if I wanna send some files, photos, videos, right from the phone to the PC, let's get and send this picture of shoes. So I'm gonna hit Share, then we'll go to Quick Share. You see the Galaxy Book popped up? We'll click on it, it says connecting. Okay, sent an image, let's go ahead and open it up. And it should be a nice picture of white shoes. Okay, so it's preparing. Okay, so you just gotta wait for it to send over. Okay, received, and bang, there it is. Quick share. Again, photos, videos, files, music. This is pretty epic. Now here's a feature that I use all the time, second screen. I got a Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra paired up to my Galaxy Book 3 Pro, and here's how it works. You see, I'm gonna open up the internet. Bang, secondary display. Now this is perfect for gaming, if you wanna share your screen with somebody else, or you got somebody sitting right next to you, and y'all both wanna watch the same movie, you can share the display. Now you also have some settings. So if you want to, you can disconnect, you can have duplicates, you can extend the display, or just have second screen only. So if I put it on second screen only, 
Okay, so now I can close my laptop lid and use the tablet with the power from the laptop. That is pretty dope. All right, so one more thing I wanted to show you with secondary display. You can use it the same way I was showing you earlier with the phone. So if you look closely, you see my mouse is on my keyboard, but if I drag it over, it goes right to my tablet. So now I'm just gonna control the tablet. So say I wanna open up Facebook, click on Facebook. I can be on Facebook on this side, and then just slide my mouse right over, right back to the laptop. This is real multitasking. Oh. All right, so now let's test out the dual stereo speakers tuned by AKG. Now on a side note, I got a brand new sound test from my nephews, Trap Hefe and Chase Fetty. I need y'all to listen to the words on this joint. It is official tissue. Here we go. Okay, so you can hear the speakers for yourself. Mandatory. Okay, look. <laughs> Shout out to my nephews, yo. They, they really killed this one. When I do my next speaker test, you're going to really hear that song. It is crazy. But as far as the speakers on this laptop, not bad. Now, if you watch some of my old Galaxy reviews, one of the things that I've always disliked about Galaxy laptops are the speakers, they're just a little bit too low. The speakers on this one, they actually got a little bit better, but they're not gonna be blowing you away. These are not MacBook speakers, but they're loud enough to get the job done and loud enough for me not to complain about them. All right, so here's the star of the show, this big, beautiful 16-inch 3K dynamic AMOLED display. Check this out. Look how beautiful this is. Viewing angles are out of this world. This is how you want to watch your videos. And again, the speakers sound pretty good. Pretty good, no complaints. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's talk about editing videos. Now this is Samsung's most powerful laptop, and like I said, I've been using it for about a week. You can easily edit your videos using this laptop. Now on a side note, it does come with its own editing software, but I like to use Sony Vegas. Now this is the same one that I use upstairs in my office. So let's go ahead and render a project. You can hear the fan spinning also. Okay, we'll hit render and check out the speed. You see the percentage? Four, five, six, seven. Now this is around a two minute clip, but those rendering speeds are pretty good for a lightweight portable laptop like this. All right, so now let's talk about my favorite thing I like to do with this laptop, gaming. Now here's one of the big advantages from buying the Galaxy Book from this year as opposed to last year. Now you got the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4050 graphics card and this will handle all of your games. So I'm gonna play a few different games. Let's start off with Killer Instinct. I got my controller plugged in, full size USB. Okay, so let's do a little, uh, let's do a little Glacius, why not? I'll give y'all the gold Glacius today. Okay. Now you see, <laughs> I'm a little bit rusty and I'm behind the camera, but we're gonna make it work. All right, let's get it on. Let those intros rock, why not? Look at this display. Look how smooth it's running. Okay, here we go. Oh, he tried to get slick. 
Mm. Let's go. Mm. Mm. Y'all can hear me mashing. Oh, I, I, I dropped it. Okay, let's go. Stop it, buddy. Oh, he's blocking everything. Let's go. Woo! Woo, let's go! <laughs> you know what I'm this is so dope. Oh, he got me. Let's go. Need him a long range. Oh. Let's go. I didn't want to finish it. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're gonna send him out of style. Oh, y'all like that? Ah! I dropped it. I dropped it. But anyway, <laughs> this is Killer Instinct. Come on, bro. Nah, this is too. This is too much fun. This is too much fun. And look, this is running the same way it would run on a gaming laptop. Okay, now we gotta do that one one more time because I want you, you gotta get an X-ray for that one. You gotta get an Ultra for that one. I'm gonna make it quick though. Let's go. No lag at all. Oh, ragdoll. Okay, let's go. Okay. Uh, hold it. Gotcha. Let's get greedy. Hey, let's go! Alright, right, let, let me calm down. Let me calm down. Okay. I can't I can't I can't leave without a without my signature ending. Okay, here it comes. Let's now now we're gonna do it. Let's go. This is what I wanted to give y'all. No, man, let's go. All right, let's try another game. All right, so check this out. Now, I'm going to spend a little bit more time on gaming because this is pretty important, to me at least. Now, a lot of people like to use Steam. Now, when I was playing uh, Killer Instinct, I actually downloaded that from Microsoft right to the PC. But let's try some Steam games. So let's open up a little racing game. And we'll let this load up. Okay, so we got some Formula One racing. I'm doing this in real time. Hold up, we got the AMG. Okay. Look at the carbon fiber. Okay. Let's get busy, y'all. Now, again, I'm using controller. Man, look out, look out, bro, look out. Now, I'm pretty trash at racing games. I drive way better in real life. Ah! Part of me, y'all. Let me just, you know what I'm saying? Let me just, let me just come up and, oh! What place am I in? I don't know. All right, but look at this. Sounds great, looks great, nice and smooth. That was a little bit too much break. That was a little bit too much breaking. This corner's gonna eat me right here. Ah, I got it. Let's go. Anyway, this is how your driving game's gonna look. I'm about to wrap. <laughs> oh. You hear that sound? Real nice. Anyway, so this is how you. <laughs> Let me wrap it to the wall. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Here's your driving games. Let's try a few more of my favorite games. All right, so now let's take it over to a little Mortal Kombat X, one of my favorite games. Okay, now just so you can see, this is me playing. All right, let's go to Towers, the traditional Towers. Now, I'm gonna try somebody different, not my usual main. Take it over to Baraitro. 
I would try a little medium difficulties, you know? Because <laughs> I'm semi-scrubby. All right, here we go. Now, you can hear the fan, not too loud, but look how smooth everything is running. You will not disappear again. So it's a goer. All right, here we go, let's go. Oh, look, Kano against Kano. Let's go. Ah, I dropped it. Okay, okay. Little corner activity, little flawless victory, none of that. Too much rice wine. Little flawless victory. All right, let's go. Oh, he got that. Oh, right into the fort. Okay, okay. That's how you feel it? Okay, okay. I'm looking like trash. Uh. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Ah, I forgot the mentality. I forgot the mentality. That was trash. That was trash. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. <laughs> nah, because I don't like going out like that. I don't like going out like that. I want, plus, I want y'all to see how the in-game loading speeds is. This will be like if you're playing in your house. Okay, no extra long loading, no delays, nothing. This is just like playing on your PlayStation. You see this loading time right here? Look how fast that is. This is PS4 speeds. All right, let's try that again. Oh, okay, Kodo. Kodo coming in hot. Okay. Ah! I forgot the moves. Okay, ragdoll. They call that the roly poly. Uh. Y'all into the farts? Okay, let's go. All right. <laughs> I love this game. This is so much fun. Okay, ragged all back to the corner. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Nah, I'm not going out like that. I dropped it again. I deserve to die. I deserve to die. Okay. Let's go. Your technique is <sighs> Anyway, M Mortal Kombat X. Let's do a few more games. All right, so of course, we got to do one of my other favorite games, Street Fighter V. All right, so let's do a little arcade. Okay. Street Fighter V. Now, shout out to everybody who's seen my Street Fighter stream. Y'all know I was almost to go to <laughs> try to make it to Capcom Cup, but I got body, so you know what it is, what it is here. It is what it is. All right, now again, here's the actual loading times. Okay. A little Ryu, why not? Shout out to my man, I Dom. You know what I'm saying? Another New York City heavy hitter. I'm actually training for Capcom Cup this year, though. This year I'm going to be in Capcom Cup. Y'all know what it is. All right, let's go. Again, just keep your eye out for the loading times. Round one. Okay. Fight. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh no, I dropped it. Oh, let's go. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Let's go. Anyway, <laughs> who getting Street Fighter 6? All right, I'm, I'm jumping on Street Fighter 6 immediately. But look how smooth this is running. Oh, 
sound double perfect? Okay. <sighs> now I play better with a PlayStation controller. That's why I was getting mopped in Mortal Kombat just now because I'm used to using a PlayStation controller, but this is just as fun. All right, so here's Street Fighter. Now we'll do one more game. All right, now, like I said, I want to spend a little bit of time with this gaming segment because this is kind of important for a lot of y'all. We'll do one more game. All right, so we got one more game queued up. We got Mortal Kombat 11. Okay, so let's try a little MK11. Let me go with one of my <laughs> one of my heavy hitters. Let's get it going. Now I haven't I haven't played this game in a minute, so if I lose, it's because you know I've been playing um, a lot of other stuff lately. But it should come back to me pretty quickly, because I am one of those Mortal Kombat gods on the low. <laughs> I know, I know. Let me stop. Let me stop. I don't know. I'll be having so much fun. All right, let's let the intros rock. Back up now. Okay. The sun. Let's go. The Ashtek execute petty thieves. Robocop. Okay. Leniency leads only to greater transgressions. Kodal out here dropping knowledge. Must fit the crime. That's why I like picking Kodal, because I've been dropping knowledge like this to you. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's go. Ragdoll, stay in that corner. Stay in that corner. Ah, one more ragdoll. I'll let you out of the corner now. I'll let you breathe. Okay. Again, I gotta get used to this controller, but you know, it's, it's coming back to me. Okay. Run up ragdoll, run up ragdoll. Let me see, what, I, what moves did I used to do with this? Nah, 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 bucko. Let me get my, my last totem up. That brutal. Okay. Mortal Kombat 11, you see again, I gotta say it one more time, running nice and smooth, the loading times are excellent, and if you know, if you listen closely, you could barely hear the fan. Let's do one more. Yeah, you can't even hear the fan at all right now. All right, we'll do one more. We'll, we'll fight the collector and then we'll keep it pushing. Let me see if I remember, if I remember any, I think I remember some fatals on this one, some fatals and some fatalities. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm noticing a little input delay on this one. A little input delay. That's my excuse for being... Oh, okay, good. Ah, oh, I dropped it! Okay. Just, just walk up into that light. Oh, work? Okay. Okay. Now, I know what some of y'all are saying. Oh, the game is on easy. I know that's what y'all said. The game is so easy. I know, I know. Any of y'all that think it's so easy, challenge me, bro. Challenge me. Uh. A word? Okay. Oh, okay. All right, come here. Did I really want to do it? Oh my god, I did it. Oh my god, I did it for free mentality. Oh my god, I did it. Oh, I'm dash. I'm, oh, I'm dash. I'm dash. Anyway, <laughs> let's kind of wrap this game up. Do I even got to say it? Beautiful. All right, so real quick, let me show you how the front facing camera looks. All right, testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. So here's how your front facing camera is going to look full HD, 1080p. Perfect for your Zoom calls, perfect for your Skype calls. All right, so there's one last thing I want to talk about, the battery life. 
Now, like I said earlier, battery is pretty subjective, but I came down here around six o'clock in the morning. It's a little bit after nine. I haven't plugged this in. I got all of the settings on maximum, maximum performance, maximum brightness. The keyboard stays on for five minutes straight. I've been doing all of this gaming, editing, everything that you've seen in this video. I haven't plugged it back in yet. And here's the battery I got left. So we got about 50% remaining, which shows around 43 minutes. So that's right on par with the battery times that I've been getting all week, about four to five hours with continuous use. So the battery life is pretty good. And like I said, you got fast charging. Let's get and wrap this video up. All right, so overall, on a scale of one to 10, I'm giving the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra a major, major, major go. This is the perfect laptop if you want that minimalistic design, but you still want full ports, HDMI, okay, USB-A, USB Type-C, expandable memory, beautiful display, pretty good sound and speakers, pretty good front-facing camera, the battery life is pretty good, but the performance, this is a beast. Editing videos, gaming, web surfing, doing your Zoom calls, working, playing, whatever you want to do, this laptop can handle it. And another one of my favorite features about this is the Samsung ecosystem. I love how it seamlessly connects to all of my other Samsung products, and it gives me that full laptop phone sharing experience. Anyway, Samsung Galaxy Book 3 Ultra, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys in that. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. Pitch and go. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Spock run the beam up. some of that technology you gotta understand certain things subscribe to Flossy Carter he does reviews of all the latest technology the iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck the Beats by that doctor guy and he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at you know I'm an animal lover so I like that shit so make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.